We're in. Hello, every person in the world. Um, everybody. Yeah, everybody. Hello. Everybody is here. Hello. Do not adjust your monitor. <laughs> Touch anything. Uh, interestingly enough, we are joined by a number of different cast members, and I don't have to run the game, which is cool. That's uh, my job. Yeah, <laughs> don't make me regret it. Uh, oh, we actually have uh, it. we actually have nameplates this time. So we got Nonats, you got me, you got Adan, you got Tabaxi Cafe, you got Maya, and you got Rymac, and hey. uh, Adan oh, again, yes. and some I don't know who that is. Like green. Who is that? <laughs> They're Ranger holding Ernest. a very handsome bird, though. Doesn't yeah. Staples have like that red button as their logo? Is it like a green version of that? Maybe. Uh, I, I could. Uh, oh, oh, I think he's a Microsoft representative for Windows XP. Oh, that yeah, oh, that makes yeah, a lot of sense. Yeah. Or maybe a Spotify. Okay. I remember. Employee. Yeah, it, it, that they kind of looks like a soon. human clippy. Yeah. XP point <laughs> I three it. looks kind of dated. Mm -hmm. Whatever that thing is, that's joining us too. <laughs> no. Do we have chat available? I want to make sure that we are. Uh, are we actually live? live? Yeah, I mean, chat. Cyber Slayer 909 okay. has said. What up, Cyber Slayer hola. 909? Hola. Oh, yeah, <laughs> no, he said hola, hola, which means hi. Hopefully, my volume's that. actually well mixed. But yeah, uh, take it away, no nats. You're, you're All right. So, it is a typical day on the Sword Coast in the Forgotten Realms. The sun is shining, it's the middle of spring slash summer, so it's a little warm, but not uncomfortable. And we join our party of five adventurers making their way south from Waterdeep toward the Misty Forest. You have all recently received a, a letter asking for help. Uh, the letter was written on what appeared to be a piece of tree bark, and the writing was incredibly uh, jagged and many spelling errors and almost no grammar to be had. Um, but in exchange for the help, the offer did uh, tell you that they would be giving you a lot of shinies, mm -hmm. which was enough to attract most of you for one reason or another. Um, so they told you to meet them on the outskirts of the Misty Forest along the road leading south from Waterdeep. And about seven or eight hours upon leaving the city, you arrive at your location and you see two goblins sitting on the side of the road uh one of them is like half under a tarp like messing with a big something under the tarp like there is probably the size of a like a large creature under this tarp and even from a distance you can hear like 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 hammering and like sounds of 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 construction underneath uh and the other goblin kind of waves at you uh, and like slaps his slaps his friend and pulls him out from under, and they both wave and wait for your approach. And um, if you would like to describe exactly who is approaching these goblins, uh, Tabby, would you like to start? Oh fuck! Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, Jump right, baby, He's king. Come on. Oh uh, yeah. Uh, probably the tallest in the group is a half orc woman with like bright white hair she's wearing uh, a lot of just silk robes and is notably missing her right arm and uh the bottom half of her left leg which has been replaced by a metal prosthetic that's just a big spike and uh she is just a samurai looking bit uh baddie all right, uh, all right. with right next to her mm. a weird looking <laughs> dork yeah um <laughs> Almost half her height, so like borderline hip height, is this uh, scrawny looking human who's fully like decked out in a really fancy puffy lute suit. He's got a lute strung over his shoulder and a flute to boot. Uh, he's got a bunch of little scrolls like just haphazardly all over his body. And he is like click, like a six year old with his mom like clinging to her hip, like going as, <laughs> as they walk, just approaching this uh, mm -hmm. troop of goblins. All right, and accompanying them appears to be a Herengon rabbit folk. Yeah, you you wouldn't you wouldn't you wouldn't assume he's one because he's kind of like you know covered in tarps, like green tarps that cover like most of his head, shoulders, and middle section of the body, uh, and he walks very uh, hunched over almost. If he was standing tall, he would be around five nine, five eight, nothing crazy, but uh, he, you would you would be. Forgive him for confusing him with like a Lincoln trope of some kind. This guy looks very ragged and, and just dirty. Uh, he's carrying two swords on his side 
and just a big pack full of meats and you could like just blotches of blood over the place there is like a like a mobile like leather curing kind of like section of his backpack where like a few leathers of hunted beasts are hanging this guy is basically taking care of the group's like belongings and food and shit and he's just following right behind the, the big orc almost like using her magnificent shadow to hide uh, in case a fight breaks out. He will we're, be we're all crowded hiding behind <laughs> one. Gosh. I'm Mama Goose, baby. <laughs> well, I imagine struggling a little bit possibly to keep up, we have the two smallest in the group. Uh, Snoot, would you like to start? Sure. Uh, Snoot is a little uh, monochromatic black and white kobold in a wearing a garb that is very scholarly um it looks a little rutted like snoot might have been a studious dropout but kept the outfit because it's the nicest thing in their closet <laughs> and um yeah they're just trucking along they've got a little satchel that jingles a little bit as they're walking along it's tied off with various like little bells and like a shreds of multicolored like translucent uh shreds of metal um just various little there's some fake gemstones there's some real ones it's just kind of glammed out in a almost ratty junk drawer kind of way <laughs> <laughs> um and then on in their hands uh they are just kind of clicking together kind of like a fidget toy um what looks to be uh two uh clock arms off, like they were ripped off a grandfather clock and Snoot's just kind of like idly twirling them between their fingers. Cute. Oh. And then and then who's next to Snoot? I'm Mystery and I'm uh, 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 trying to trying to keep up. I'm wearing an oversized dragon kigurumi and I have <laughs> big bottle cap eyeball glasses because I don't really see that well. Bottle butt glasses. Yeah, yeah that's the word. Glasses. <laughs> and I'm tripping over my own kigu because it's too big, but it's the only size that they had, so that's, that's what I'm wearing. Aww. Hey, you know, don't let size stop you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Live your life. <laughs> and and uh, she's a white kobold, but with like kind of a prism scaling for her, so Ooh. she kind of looks like a little rainbow or kobold, I apologize. <laughs> and she's just trying to keep up next to Snoop, just tripping here and there. But she's, she's trying her best. All right. And and as the five of you approach, the goblins are kind of like really happy. They do notice your little dragon onesie for a second and kind of like tilt their head. And you actually see one of them look over their shoulder at the thing under the tarp. And they, they look back. And, and one of them lifts his hands up and goes, Heroes! You come to help, you get message? I, I think read. There, are, there are people, I don't think they're waiting for us. They did we get a hero. message? Pretty sure we did. Are we heroes? Does this yeah. make no. us heroes? Yes. No, we're not, dude. You answer call, you heroes, we need hero. That's so easy. Who knew that I just answering a call hero. makes you a hero? I, yeah. I don't think we're heroes yet. Oh. I mean, I wouldn't mind the, the prestige. I could use that. If you're not heroes yet, you big heroes after help. You need help me. Name Mataz. This Raz. And the other goblin waves. Mataz. Raz and Mataz. <laughs> Got what it. What a cool, cool name. That's a really good name. <laughs> Thank you. I made it myself. Dude, that's amazing. Taking notes. Wow. So. I, I wish my mom was that good with names. Hmm. <laughs> oh. What's your name? Tonsack Eretz. Yeah. Tonsack. Yeah, Mataz, remember that name forevermore! Thank you, dude. Amazing. Wait, what was it again? Hey. Oh, uh, Tonsack. Tonsalite. Yeah, you, can, you can call me Ton. You can call me Carrots. People call me Carrots. Mm. Carrots. I like Carrots. <laughs> Ooh, old brown oh, Carrots. Mm. No time to think about lunch. Me and Mataz, and Mataz hasn't said a word. Mataz has been pretty quiet. Uh, me and Mataz want to live in forest. Not want live city life, not want get job, not want loud hustle bustle, just want live in forest, eat bunnies, and be happy. But forest kinda scary. Big bears and monsters, much bigger than goblins. So, we working on, and he gestures back to the, the tarped thing, experiment. 
We need to finish experiment, and experiment keep us safe in forests so can live happy ever after goblin life. Just missing one thing. Power source. We need something make it come alive and protect us, because right now it's just a big chunk of metal and wood. Oh, that's incredible. Mystery, make it come alive. You're, you're a wizard, oh, oh. right? Yeah. You, I, you could make it permanent make alive forever? Yeah, I, I mean, I'm, I am a wizard. I mean, I could do you know, anything. Stuff. Did we yeah. study that in, in, in school? Did we study, like, bringing stuff to life? I mean, there was um, a whole, like, I, necromancy classes, but that's where there all was like, a, the weird kids hung out. Yeah, but you know, you didn't take the class where they resurrected the frogs? Like, I after we dissected them? like, them? three months in. I didn't take a lot of classes. I think I, so, like, went to gemology and, like, illusion, and then once you moved on, I, I, I dropped out. So, yeah, we had these frogs. We had to dissect them and kill them, and then we resurrected them. I, I ran just, away because mm. I was scared, so I didn't oh. really pass the class. Why yeah. scared of food? Uh, is there a giant frog under the tarp? Can we yeah, what is under the tarp? Experiment! Goblin oh, experiment! Not want to show it till it's done, but when it's finished, we unveil! And you be first to see goblin ingenuity at its finest. I think it's a big one. I like that. I think it too, but I mean, well, who cares, right? Yeah, I mean, like, we're not going to stick around five we're gonna stick I mean, I kind of care a little. Uh, if anything, think about this. Someday in the future, heroes will come to stop the big machine that's killing everybody, mm -hmm. right? We're basically creating jobs here, so. Yeah, and think about <laughs> the here and now, the shinies. Yeah, the here and now. Yeah. That's the oh, yeah, dude. Yes, we offer as many shinies as we have. No need for shinies in the forest, but you have to help first. We bury shinies all over the place. You never find them. Okay. Really? Oh. Sounds like a lot of shinies. I think we're in luck here. Yeah. Yeah. All right. What's so... We know where power source is. We almost had it. We were in forest and we find magic stick. Stick of magic. At what, Mataz, what they call it? Wand. Wand. Wand of magic. And then big stompies. I think there was a bear. Uh, seven bears, too many bears. Mm -hmm. So we, we, we stuck stick in tree and ran. Uh, but when we come back three days later, no bears, but no stick. Shoot. Right. Sorry Are you for sure your loss. You checked in the right tree. Yo, know, the goblin never forgets trees. Trees are like trees. You can't yeah. forget them. Yeah, no, the trees are trees. What do you mean? How can you forget a tree? It's all over the place. Exactly. They're all unique. Yeah. <laughs> really? Yes. You like can't tell the difference ones. between that one and that one and that one and that one and that one. Yeah, they, they, they never move, so like... They're always I mean, in the same place. That yeah. one's kind of bent, and mm -hmm. that one's kind of... That one's got like orange in it. Yeah, that yeah, one has okay. seven branches halfway down. That one has... Mr. Goss, one over there is oh, I guess That's so. me. Everybody, she's just gonna put her <laughs> hand up. <laughs> Where's the tree? Can you take on seven bears? No. Well, Depending. bears weren't okay. there anymore. I don't oh. think bears took stick, but stick was in tree that way. And he points you in a direction. And he says, "Running there, probably forty-five minutes for goblins." Ah, oh, forty-five minutes. <laughs> We just ran all the way over here. For like two million minutes. It, we've been walking forever, and I don't. My feet hurt. Anymore. If I already walked so much, what a little more. Small percentage of total walk. <laughs> I guess. Trust it worth it. You want shinies? Yes. Heroes love shinies. You have like a glass of water at least. Like <laughs> I just walked all the way over here. Well, I got water for you. From I'll pull out a water flask and hand it to you. Thanks, Snoot. Drink. Yeah. So should I should I start looking for the tree? I can. Do you know the way, or should I just? Uh, they've given you a general direction. Um, oh. It's it's only been a day or two, so they they're pretty confident you'll be able to at the very least follow their tracks back through. Awesome. Um, with your with your heroic senses of survival. Yeah. I, can I <laughs> can I roll DM? Can I roll survival to guide the group to the tree? You absolutely may. Go for it. Thank. you. 
but I muted myself. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't the button I want to press. Survival. That is a 12. A 12. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> so you, you say goodbye to Raz and Mataz uh, and make your way into the forest following their direction. And after about 30 minutes, you got a little bit complacent, uh, Tanzuk. Uh, you're, you stopped looking at them. You're like, okay, clearly they went in a straight line. But about five minutes later, you look down and the tracks are not near you anymore. Uh, uh, but you caught it before you got too far off track. You know you can mm -hmm. find them again uh, as long as you don't roll garbage. Awesome. I'm going to roll again. I have a plus six. So I got Let's a go. six on the dice. <laughs> so... <laughs> Oh, that nat 26, yeah. Oh, nat 20? Whoa. Nat 20, yeah. Yo. <laughs> there oh, we yeah. go. You, I, you... I, there's no middle ground. Either either a 2 or a, or a natural 20 for me, I guess. Uh, so, yeah, you, you realize things. You, you stop the whole party uh, yeah. and quickly get everyone back on track. But you realize the second you find the tracks, they walk right by the base of a tree. <laughs> oh, well, that's dumb. Uh, we are here, everybody. This tree? They're here. Oh. Yeah, this this one right here, the ugly one. Mm. And there's this you do see there's a, a a big like knotted hole in that tree. Nice. I uh <laughs> I'm not reaching in. Is it Re or Ray? Ray. Um Alec Samuel is just gonna look over at you. You should reach in there. <sighs> we'll reach up and then just pat around. Uh, it feels an awful lot like the inside of a tree. Um, <laughs> I don't think a 12 hits you, does it? No. No. You you feel something like try to bite your hand, but just your own thick skin is too much. It can't get through it. Um, and you're, you're I'm fine. I'm going to grab whatever that is. <laughs> uh, yeah, you, you grab it. Are you just like full force grabbing? Yeah, just like <laughs> ratatouille <laughs> bulging eyes, whatever this is. You you rip it out of the tree and you you open your hand and you just see this like now squashed like Hercules beetle just in your hand. Oh, <laughs> baby bug. Gonna, are you gonna are you gonna eat it? Here and I'll just smudge it on your uh, the chest of your armor and then <laughs> go back to fishing around. <laughs> just just eat it. it. Thank you. Oh, it's got it's got a good crunch to it. Yeah. Um, okay, um, but there is no wand in the tree. No like wand. feeling around? What's okay. up? You can go feel if you want. Mm -mm. Okay, let me take a look. And Snoot will uh, pour, pour out their water skin as water drains on the ground. And then they're going to cast Shape Water to make an ice uh, tiny like step stool. <laughs> 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 and it's going to pop, 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 pop. And then peer into the tree. Um, I like this one. Yeah, it, it just looks like the inside of a tree. There's some moss, there's some dirt. Maybe a rat spent the night here, but there is no sign of... I shouldn't say no sign. There actually is, like, a small, like, divot in the dirt, like something thin was, like, stuck into the dirt in the hole. Uh, but there is nothing there now. Hmm. Um, looking around, do I see any sign of the bears kind of like looking for stuff like inside the trees? Because they usually do that too. Yeah, um, anyone who wants to can. Uh, anyone who wants to can roll me perception or investigation. I'm gonna roll perception okay. myself. If anyone uh, wants to roll investigation, I'll I do can do it. Perception two. Perception. Oh, that's bad. That's a ten. That's another four. I. <laughs> <laughs> that's a ten. <laughs> ten. All right. Mystery? Investigation, I got 12. 12? Okay, okay. Uh, Ray, are you rolling it all or no? Sure. Just a <laughs> casual glance above all of them. 16. <laughs> of course. Okay. <laughs> so everyone's so busy, like, looking at the ground, looking at nearby trees. But, Ray, you're just kind of leaning against the tree, and you hear something. You're not focused on looking, so you actually manage to pick up on something in the distance. Um, and it somewhat sounds like repeated heavy footsteps just going back and forth in the same place, almost like something's just stomping in the same place over and over. Ray's just gonna walk over to uh, Alka Samuel, just mm -hmm. pick him up by his shoulder and just push him into the direction of the sound. <laughs> <laughs> What's happening? Oh my god! Alka Samuel, are you taking Listen. that? Are you... You resisting? 
I can't. <laughs> oh, <laughs> what's happening? Listen. Uh huh. Oh. And yeah, one, once it's been pointed out, you can hear the slight little. And I duck into a nearby bush. Okay, and you do so. Did you find it? There's something in the bush. Coming. Where? I go up to right. I got a where, 22 where, to hide. Where is it going? 22 to hide? Uh, Samuel's <laughs> gone. Oh, no. And Ray's uh, just going to point in the direction that she hears the noise. Let's go freaking kill whatever that is, right? If it doesn't have the one, don't matter. We can just look for more. So. You, you hear uh, from an invisible force the, the slight strumming of a guitar. And, uh, <laughs> Ray, you, you get an inspiration. It's just like, go, go, go kill it. <laughs> All right, oh, yeah, and she'll put her hand on like just the hilt of her sword, but not draw it, and just walk into the direction. <laughs> Ooh, I'm gonna follow. Ooh, I'm gonna hop behind her. Let's go, Mr. Almost. Newt. Are y'all gonna <laughs> just? Oh, <laughs> <shirt. laughs> um, are, wait, we're supposed to kill the creature. We're gonna kill something. Come on, big giant. Woo I like oh, Fortnite man. pick up the bush I guess and we gotta. Run uh, <laughs> I <laughs> guess there are some dangerous monsters that we gotta take care of at some point, right? Looking this over is, to mystery. This is, this is great. This is a part of being an adventure. This is a good thing. Yes. Yeah. You, yes. you go out and kill a defenseless, possibly creature. Subdue. You subdue, subdue them. Yes. yes. I'm, I'm ready. Are you it. ready? Oh. Uh, yes. Let's let, oh, I lead the way. Uh, he says he's going to eat it. We, sh we should go. Um, okay, let's go. I'm, sh I'm just <laughs> hopping in excitement behind Ray. Just following her direction. Like, yeah, yeah, let's go. Let's go. Just on the bridge. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Samuel is like still still playing the guitar, but like like going from bush to bush to bush up behind everybody. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, and you notice as you're walking, um, it does seem to be getting slightly louder because you're moving towards it, but it doesn't mm -hmm. seem to be moving towards you. It seems Ooh. to be staying in place as you walk towards it. Should we sneak mm -hmm. up on it and freaking destroy it? I mean, what if it's not a bear? We should definitely check it out first do i get to see from here uh what, it, what you're approaching on yeah i think or, we, yeah. we try to get like within our own line of sight of it okay. I, I would think that everyone would probably have to sneak if that's what we're doing once we get close enough yeah uh, i will say before you need to sneak you do get close enough to start hearing voices uh Ooh. two voices to be uh precise you hear some grunting back and forth as you hear it mine no, give me! No! Me older! Well, me taller! And it goes back and forth and back and forth. To me, it sounds like humans. Yeah. I think we have to murder some humans. It sounds like my sister. We have to what? murder them? Yes. Yeah, I mean, we have to, right? They're here um, already. I mean, why? What if, what if they're like, cool? what if they're like what, what fighting if, over, like, you know, the last world sandwich? beast? What if they have, oh. like, money? Yeah, sure. I have money. But, I mean, are okay. they necessarily bad? What if they're just like two scientists? Yeah. Ray, what do we do, Ray? What do we do? They don't what do we do? It's gonna turn around and just push aside the bush. Hello. Oh. Push oh. Me out of the way. <laughs> you you push aside a bush and step into a small clearing, and you see two humanoids, uh, but you wouldn't exactly call them humans because they are roughly nine to ten feet tall. Oh. Um, and between them, looking in, like a toothpick between them, is a small little stick with some ornate carvings on it that they're like pulling back and forth from each other. And they pause and they look at you. Hello? What Who you are you? Uh, we uh. are rangers, forest rangers. And we're making sure that everything here is in tip top shape. And boy, how do you guys look like you're just having a wonderful time camping and we're we, that's we, all we're here for we find treasure he won't give no he won't give i see it first liar me see it first you help us okay maybe, maybe this wait, wait, maybe they wait, should, fight. Should, fight. They, uh, should fight i mean they're okay, like paying so. very little attention to you like even as they talk to you they're still just pulling this thing back and yeah. forth looking at each uh, other i woke up to snoot kind of like a like a almost like a sneaky movement kind of like sneaky little slimy little man that i am and i, and I look <laughs> to snoot's little gobbled ear and i go snoot 
what if we tell them that they need to they need to compete to see who wins it and that we will hold the wand while they do it and then when we have the wand we just fucking kill the both of them <laughs> or we could we could, we could just leave or we could just leave but but like I mean, I, i've seen how you I how think, you talk to people i think you should I do i think it. i could do that yeah wait, you wait, should wait, do I, it. I, I, I have an knuckles. idea i have an idea um i have this rock i can convince them that this is better than the wand oh huh? can you oh my uh, God. maybe i mean it's worth a shot can they can i keep it uh, sure. <laughs> yeah can when we're it? done with this the rock actually it sounds pretty appealing right now yeah okay i, I kind of want to have the rock let's no. try Maybe this then yeah and we could share it like custody <laughs> true yeah like a kid mm -hmm. i wouldn't mind i'm down uh ah! snoot will call out okay i'm gonna tell them that they want to compete for the rock and then you hold the rock up mystery okay okay and and you do your thing okay how do i look do i look good <laughs> you look excellent maybe the rock like, like, real, like yeah. represents the wand so we'll trade yes. it out. Yes. yes, yes. Okay, I crack my knuckles. Before and I... you do, we got a $5 donation from Cyber oh, Slayer. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh, DM rolls. Mm hmm. <laughs> That's a fidget spin. Uh, that is an eight. The stakes get raised. Oh, oh no. no. We waited too long. <laughs> Pro proceed, Snoot. Proceed with your plan. Uh, I think... Snoot. Yep. is going to meta magic subtle cast so no verbal or somatic okay. components oh. um just speak out actually they're ogres they're not gonna fucking know magic um i won't subtle cast that uh <laughs> i i twin cat no do i have twin cast i thought you said you do, do. you <laughs> yeah, thought not. i did <laughs> what do i have Yes, I do have twin casts. Yeah, you, you can okay. have up to three, right? So. Uh, to at this level, I have two. So distant and twin is what I have. I twin spell suggestion. Okay. Oh, God damn it. I was going to do that. <laughs> 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 you have both. That's awesome. All right. That's is that I'm a... going to uh, twin cast. Let me see how much it costs. Uh, sorcery points equal to a spell level. Okay, so two sorcery points. You could tell um, I twin... I twin cast suggest that I say, my good gentle ogres, you must compete in an obstacle course throughout the woods <laughs> to gain not a worthless stick, but this treasure of the gods. And I'll gesture over to mystery holding. What are you holding? I am holding a piece of coal. And, and and so going, is it are those wisdom saves? Those are wisdom saves. And monsters do not have proficiency in saving throws unless like it sp explicitly says, right? Yeah, on their stat mm -hmm. one. Okay. And if there's like plus something to whiz, then okay. And I believe Barrow's casting in sight greed? No, I'm gonna be casting minor illusion. Oh, oh okay. Okay, okay right. to make it look like what does it look like? Uh, so I'm gonna be behold the all and powerful Wow! And I'll do like a minor illusion of sparks goes pew, 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 pew. And then in, in fireworks it says Oh, so cool. Wow, that's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, alright. Um, let amazing. me, with the minor illusion I'm going to give them another minus one on their saving throw because it's more convincing. Uh, what is your save DC? Snoot? 15. 15. Yeah. God, Pathfinder DMs are cracked, dude. That's amazing. That's really <laughs> uh, so the first one's a 12. And second one is a 7. So they both stop. Yeah. And they look <laughs> at the koal. <laughs> and they, they look at the, the wand. It's also scented. So it smells like strawberries. That's Ooh. pretty cool, huh? Strawberries are nice. Yeah, yeah. Okay. We. Oui. I stronger than you. Me show you. And no, you shorter, so you weaker. And they, they look at you, they kind of, one of them lets go of the one, and the other one has it like in his fist. What obstacle course, what we do? Oh, I didn't think this would You must work. first uh, give me that weak, give me that pathetic stick that you have. You want the treasure of the gods. Yeah, that's such you a You must such circle a stick. every tree in the woods 10 times to prove your endurance. And, and this, is to the stick. this is concentration, and it lasts eight hours. Oh my god! <laughs> and so you can do more suggestions after the initial one. 
Well, I, I imagine That's this point, one. like, no, suggestion is one to two sentences. So they're asking what to do, so I'm kind of elaborating on it, I guess. Okay. If you want me to make like a persuasion roll. Shit, no, that's fair. No, I'll, I'll allow it. Uh, that, that's insane. It's eight yeah. hours. Yeah. yeah. Eight hours. That's say. amazing. Okay. okay. We trust them. <laughs> and the, one of them looks like over all of you. They got trusty faces. Yeah, yeah. They yeah, are considered yeah, charmed. Do. Especially the charmed. little black and white one. He adorable and trustworthy. And they walk over <laughs> and they hold out the wand to you, Snoot. Oh! Thank Ooh. you. And Snoot takes the wand. <laughs> and they, they both like crouch down into like sprinters positions. And, and they just say, someone count down. Three. Two. Uh, two? Yeah, two. Yeah. Two. And the next one that comes after two. What and is then goes. One? The small yeah. seven. They both pause for a second and then just start running. <laughs> and you see them book it off in one direction as the stomping gets quieter and quieter. We should just, should we just leave? Should we go? I think we're here. Are we done? Okay. And I want to see who wins. <laughs> <laughs> uh, about 30 seconds later, you start hearing more stomping. Not oh. quite as fast, but I there is the Not the stomping stakes. Coming, <laughs> the stakes oh, have no. been raised. Oh, no. In all, all of you here shouting from fairly nearby is Jonathan, Carl, where are you? And the oh, stomping no. is getting closer and closer. I, I, I would like to hide. I, <laughs> I would like to not hide. Okay. Uh, I'm hiding. Uh, Mystery Snoot, Samuel, are you hiding? Yeah, I'm hiding. Hiding. <laughs> Alex Samuel, are you hiding as well or no? Oh yeah, I'm still writing that 22. Do you want me to roll again? <laughs> oh no, okay, that's that's fine. Okay. Uh, Ray, are you staying out <laughs> yeah. with Tonsuk? Yeah, she's just gonna stand there like nothing's yeah. changing. Okay. Yeah, I just look at her and I go, okay. "What do you think? Is this dinner now, or not?" <laughs> I wanted to eat them. You don't want to. I, I promise you, I can cook a mean troll. If you find one, you're gonna <laughs> love it. You can write a troll for a while because they should just regenerate. I'm kind of curious. Ooh. So it's like, yeah. Oh. Wait, then how do you kill it? I, don't, I think you have oh. to keep it alive. I think that's what's messed up. Yeah, you keep it alive. Oh. Okay. It's okay. It's, it's moral. It's moral. It's fine. Okay. <laughs> uh, so, so mystery and Snoot, can I get some stealth rolls? Hide or whatever. Um, I got a nat 20, 21. Oh, I'm whoa. in a tree. I'm gone. Hell yeah, Snoot. Let's go. <laughs> you I might just find like a little burrow under a tree and like like dig your way into it. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> So rolled in that 20! What? Oh, yeah. oh, All right. Cows. The two of you find like a, a massive oak tree that was like clear, like under it was clearly used for like a wolf or something that just needed to get out of the rain. And it was, it's big enough for the two of you to kind of squeeze in together underneath the tree. <laughs> well, Tunzik, will... Ray, have fun playing the game. Yeah. <laughs> as as the, the stomping right? got this. clears the, the tree line into it, a large, a little bit taller than the, the, the two giants you were looking at before. Uh, though this one also has large booba. Um, oh. And looks between you, Ray and Tonzok, and says, Where are my boys? Well, howdy, ma'am. Sorry, I didn't know we were talking to a lady. How are you doing? <laughs> what? Howdy. Ho hello. What? What is howdy? Where what are my sons? Oh, they're playing in the forest. They're running around having fun. She's just going to point in the direction that they ran. Yeah. She, she looks and sees, like, the, the, the trail of, like, footprints and, and crushed trees they left behind them. But why? they supposed to come to dinner. They oh. stay out late. Uh. I look at Snoot and I'm like, wait, did she mention dinner? <laughs> no. Uh. No, they're going to be running around every single tree in the forest ten times. For, for no, eight, no, the big hours. lady with the big tits. She just said <laughs> that they're having dinner. They're having dinner? Yeah. I'm hungry. Are you hungry? <laughs> I'm fucking starving. Can we have that dinner? That sounds like a good idea. All right, let's 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 crawl out. One, <laughs> two, three. And I'll just, like, try to crawl out, and then I'll immediately fall on my face. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so you like come out, good. you you and Snoop reveal yourself, and mm -hmm. and and Titty Giant is just kind of like taken aback for one moment. There are many of you. Yeah. Hi, I, I, I'm Mystery. You said you you ha you're having dinner. Or 
My boys! Can we, can, can we come? Can, I'm really hungry. Dinner? We're yeah. really, really hungry. hungry. Really hungry. She, she takes a few You're steps hungry. towards you and like is just looking down at the at the the four of you that are visible, and um, we got a ten dollar donation from Cyber Slayer that says something goes horribly wrong. Oh no! And dinner. She's Please. going to reach out to grab you, mystery. <laughs> um, hey, um, I attack her. What the? I attack her. I don't know the butt. butt. <laughs> uh, well, well, it's a piece of bread. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. I'll, I'll allow Tonsuk to make an attack of opportunity, but awesome. after this, we're rolling initiative. But how does okay. how does grabbing work in five e? Oh, you do an athletics, athletics athletics against her athletics or acrobatics. Okay. I thought for the initial grapple, it's they make an attack roll and you have to beat it with either. Athletics, athletics or acrobatics. Or acrobatics. Yeah. And then after that, when you contest it, it's either athletics, it's athletics. or acrobatics for both. Yeah. Okay. Um, so just make an attack roll for whoever. All right. Mm -hmm. And, and do I roll acrobatics or, or athletics? athletics. Yeah. You, you may roll choose. either. Okay. So it's a both... dirty 20 to hit. Ooh, they're oh. both Oof. plus zero. Oh boy. Oh. oh boy. Are you fucking kidding me? So you have mm -hmm. to nat 20 The it. donation demands it. It's a you one. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I don't, uh, so wait, does the grapple attempt still deal damage? Uh, no. Not standardly, but you You're are the DM. Yeah, you can I, make it do damage. I would like to use a reaction. Like, if you want, you can make her uh, strength modifier be damage mm, for be her good. grapple. Um, okay, if you like, succeed, she's just so she's strong. Just... She's so strong that she squish. She's so right. <laughs> like a little. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, uh, Mister, you are are grabbed, grappled, and just for for May. fun flavor, you you see. The, the titty giant r lift mystery into the air. Uh, Tansuk, you can make your attack of opportunity. Uh, Tansuk takes out one of his short swords. They're like gnarly, almost like a like a thorn uh, plant made into a into a short sword. And I go, mm -hmm. it's dinner time, baby! And I jump <laughs> and, I, and I snap her in the arm. Make me an attack uh, roll. I, tr I try. Uh, short a sword. Pun, Cyber Slayer it even went over my head. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that is a 12 to hit. 12 to hit. Uh, it looks like it's gonna strike true, uh, but Titty Giant actually like moves mystery between the two of you, and you have to kind of pull your attack right at the last second so you don't stab uh, your friend. Um, let's a true get warrior. <laughs> let's get some initiatives. She's holding me. I'm like, just think of the children. You're hurting me. <laughs> we think of children. You'll be tasty. All right. Alica Samuel got a four. <laughs> All right. I rolled Snoop a nine. six for Tonsack. Snoop got a 14, you said? 13. 13, and what was Tonsack? 26. Oh, 26. Ooh. God. <laughs> yep. Ray? I'm hungry, man. 19. 19. And Mystery? 18. 18. Some nice rolls. Mm -hmm. um, and then. Okay, okay. Let me get this in order. Hello? I just wanted a piece of bread. <laughs> so I, I stole a loaf of bread. Please, please, ma'am. Just uh, a loaf of bread. Teddy Giant goes there. A little, a little, a little, a little <laughs> loaf of bread, giant. please. Please. I'm so poor. Just a, a crumb of titty, please. <laughs> you have so much. I'm a titty, please. <laughs> Some titty. All right. Uh, so, Tonsik, you also get to go first. So, oh, uh, it is your go. Awesome. Uh, so it's my, you are in my... melee range. So, it's the first turn of combat, right? Mm -hmm. That means that Dread Ambusher activates. I have oh, 40 shit. feet of movement right now. <laughs> uh, I have an extra attack, and I do a wield, so I have four attacks. And my first attack does 1d4 and 1d8 extra damage. Gross. The first attack that it. hits. Let's so go. So my first, let's go, first attack, uh, short sword. Uh, short sword? Ah, oh, there we go. I was clicking the wrong <laughs> one. Um, that's a 24 to hit. That's a hit. That is 10 piercing damage. All right. Plus a d4 and a d8. <sighs> Uh, oh, two nap, two ones, uh, total oh. damage. Ah. <laughs> you're, you, you, you stab her right in the big toe. Doesn't quite sever yeah. it, but uh, and, yeah, it's gonna hurt. And I have hurt. three more. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I have <laughs> my two. More. I have my two gnarly little short sword, and I'm going to gobble them out. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm foaming, I'm foaming <laughs> out the mouth. Now my eyes are going loopy like a cartoon. 
<laughs> yes. And she looks like a big ham steak, like a cartoony ham steak from it. <laughs> uh, I'm very hungry. Uh, this next one is a 13 to hit. That's a hit. Oh, 23 hit and 22, yeah. All, All right. Hit. That's nine, nine, nine. That's <laughs> three nines in a row. Oh my God. So nice. 27 damage? <laughs> 27 Ooh. damage. Damn. <laughs> I, I, I'm gonna send you a screenshot because this is hilarious. Oh, I believe it. <laughs> no, I know, but I just want you to see the stacks of uh, nine. So do y'all know in cartoons when a character's like, like, like bang on something really fast and then they like, in like one frame, move to a different part and keep hitting it, then move to yeah. a different part and keep hitting it? That's what Tonsuk is doing. Just. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Amazing. And then there's just cuts and lacerations all over Titty Giant. No. <laughs> You thought you were gonna eat us, but I'm gonna eat you. <laughs> oh, titty giant. She That's really scary. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, mystery. You are grappled. Uh, uh, can I make it an uh, an action or attack? Um, what is it while grappled? Uh, um, if she's just grappled, her movement speed is zero. I boy. think that's it. Restrained is something different. Still... That makes it worse. Yeah, yeah, you can still make actions while you're okay. Grabbed. Yeah, you can't move. Yeah, you okay. either have to take an action against it or just deal with it and not be able to move. Okay. Okay. Um, as a bonus action, I'm gonna cast Dragon's Breath on myself. Ooh. All right. All right. Oh. And I'm gonna look her right in the freaking face, and I'm like, "Do you like barbecue?" And I'll just spew out fire <laughs> in her freaking face. I'm just seeing Charmander from the original Pokemon series, but I love yeah. it. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, what kind? What? Uh, what flavor of dragon breath is it? This is gonna is be fire. fire. Mm. Okay. Uh, so what? A reflex save? I believe so. Dexterity. Or dexterity. I'm gonna be using Pathfinder terminology <laughs> oh, the entire time. It's fine. It's the same. Uh, that's We're an 18. In our territory now. Uh, they. <laughs> True. I think they make it. Or sorry, sorry. Uh, uh, 16, not 18. Oh, okay. I can't see it, Tabby, but I'm looking at you. I'm not going yet. I can see it. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> Always nodding. Where is my save? Uh, <laughs> where is? I have jangly earrings on today, so I get extra Ooh, noise with it. Double Ooh, rivers. like those. It's amazing. <laughs> no, I think right. yeah. I it's think yes, no. that is my. Sixteen meets. Yeah. Oh, so yeah, it's it's meat meat beats. So they take so. half. All right. So she she is able to kind of like move like you start breathing fire and she kind of like moves you out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but you do still still skate her a little bit. How much is she taking? Let me, let me roll here real quick. Okay, roll the dice. Roll the dice. Roll the dice. I roll a little bit of dice over here. I roll the dice. It's like rolling dice. Matt. 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 So five. I missed you guys. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Way too long. This has been wow. fun. So that's 12 in total, so half of that. So, so six damage? All right. Yeah, you, you you get a little scorch mark on her cheek as she she moves you away, and she just goes, My Mako! <laughs> and that was my bonus action? Yeah? Or was Breathing? that also it... my action? I don't know the spell. It says bonus action for Dragon's Breath. Is it like yeah. dry? Is it bonus action just to imbue it, and then an action it. to breathe it, or? Yeah. It's okay. An action to breathe it, but it's a bonus to cast it. Okay. okay. So then I'm done. All right, Ray. Uh, she is gonna just lean down real quick and just unhook a latch on her prosthetic leg, pull Ooh. on her katana, put it in her mouth, Ooh. and draw it. Oh. <laughs> All right. And then it's just going to forward kick with it, and the leg is going to extend with a chain behind it. Ooh, All right. The whip. Badass. Nice. Oh, That's sick. Yes. <laughs> Mama you have me to thank for that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is this one of the weapons from one of your books, Logan? No, I uh, set out a Suggest. bear trap and didn't tell Ray, and then she stepped in it. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> does an 18 hit? An 18 sure yeah. does. Roll me damage. Yeah. Uh, that's just a cool eight damage with it. Eight and then damage. She's got to just pull herself forward, latch it back on, and then just stick the sword <laughs> in. Oh, that's too cool! All right, I love it. Make me another attack roll. Too cool. For another you. eighteen. All right, roll some damage. Go, Ria, go, Ria, go. Four. Go, Ria, go. Go, Ria, go. Yeah. Go, Ria, go. Eleven. 
uh, Eleven. slashing damage. Uh, she's already looking rough. Oh. <laughs> she, she's covered in cuts because all of you are using slashing except for Mystery's <laughs> dragon breath. <laughs> So she's just bleeding everywhere. Her booba oh. kind of deflated. Oh. Oh. <laughs> uh, anything else, Ray? Uh That's it for Energy now. I have a lot that I could do, but I'm going to save it just in case. So All right. Then um, the, the, the titty giant in like a fury is just yelling out, I just want to save my boys. And she swings down at you. Uh, she'll swing down at Tansa because they did so yeah. much damage. Try me. Um, so uh, they're open hand, they're swinging. As she uh, does, like right when she's about to land the impact, I just say from the mm-hmm. bush, Mommy Milkers. And I'm casting <laughs> cutting words, trying to just oh. throw her out. Yeah! How does that work? Uh, I'm rolling, I think, a D8, and then I subtract it from whatever she gets. Oh my god, that's amazing. Uh, Those are some cutting words. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's a bark die. So yeah, 1D8. So go ahead and make your roll. Uh, I rolled a 15. Minus three. Twelve. Does that hit, Tonsuk? Twelve does not hit. Okay, yeah, she, she's, her, her hand is coming down to smack you, and then just the little Samuel in the distance, and she just, <laughs> what? <laughs> Slams the ground next to you, and then just Uh-oh. in anger, she just squeezes Mystery. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, Mystery does a 27 hit. <laughs> Uh, no, yes. <laughs> I'm it going like to crit. reaction and oh? cast uh, Silvery Barb. Wait. Um, I don't know how this works. Yes, yes. Silvery Barb's yeah, triggering cool. creature must re-roll the d20 and use the lower roll. Ooh. Ooh you give her disadvantage. Okay. Yeah, I give her disadvantage. New roll is a 14. Does that that still hit? hits oh. me. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Wizards! Mm. Who didn't get a chance to cast mage armor? I uh, know. <laughs> As she's squeezing Don't me, you... I'm just going, Abby! <laughs> 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 what's um, what's the what's the flavor of silvery barbs? How is it like described? Uh, I magically distract the triggering creature and turn its momentary uncertainty into encouragement for another creature. Oh, so mm. I. <laughs> so you just make like this this little sparkle as she like goes to squeeze. She goes, huh? huh. <laughs> <laughs> um, I do oh, no. use. Oh. I can I. Basically, I give her a disadvantage, and then mm-hmm. I take that momentary lapse in luckiness, and I give it to somebody else. So Ooh, I'm okay. going to give Mystery advantage on their next attack roll, ability check, or saving Sick. throw. Thanks. Nice. For now, though, da-da. Ba-ba-ba-ba-ba. please take 17 bludgeoning damage what? as she just squeezes you in her giant hand. Are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> Um, on the upside, that's all she can do because she's not going anywhere. So, Snoot, your go. It's my Joe. Mm-hmm. Okay. It's your Joe. It's, it's your my Joe. Joe. Uh, I am going to. Uh, I'm going. Snoot's just going to get so frustrated and run up and kick her and say, put her down as I cast Mind Sliver. Oh. Nice. <laughs> All right. Amazing. Is that an attack roll or? Uh, mind sliver is. A whiz save? It's an intelligence save. Ooh. Yeah. Oh no. Mm. Yeah. That's awesome. This is just the intelligence in the booba, in which case. And it's deflated, <laughs> so she should get a disadvantage. Oh, yeah. That's a seven total. Okay. That poor uh, minus three. <laughs> she takes eight psychic damage. Eight psychic. Oof. And she also gets, what is it? Uh, she subtracts a d4 from the next saving throw she makes before the end of my next turn. Ooh. All right. Nice wow. setup. Nice setup. The two of us are just playing stats. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you, you, just, you kick her in the shin, and there's just this confusion of, oh, why your kick her head? <laughs> <laughs> uh, is that it, Snoot? Yes. All right. Alka um, Samuel. Hey. Your time to shine. Mm hmm. Okay, um, I stand up out of the bush, clearly having been revealed, and as I'm running over to uh, Rhea, I'll just like hold up a hand to Mystery and be like, think about dinner, just don't die, and I'll cast- Breadsticks, uh, breadsticks, yeah, breadsticks. <laughs> breadsticks. And that's my healing word. So you get uh, oh. seven hit points back. Nice. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Oh, I could taste the garlic butter. And then uh, I'll just use my help action for Rhea. 
So you okay. now have advantage and a D8. Oh, sweet. Damn. All right. Nice. Uh, top of the round, Tonsuk. Y'all are just surrounding uh, this giant. Is the, is the mystery still held by the by the lady? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna use uh, my bonus action. Uh, my legs kind of bulk up like super muscled, and I want to jump all the height I need. I have 15 feet of jump height oh, sure. mm-hmm. uh, up to the hand. Okay. And I'm gonna contest her grapple to free her. Ooh, I love it. Let's go. <laughs> uh oh. Uh, so I draw athletics because I, I'm contesting with. Mm-hmm. Ooh, that's a twenty-one. Cool. Ooh. Nat one. <laughs> oh. Yeah. So I, what I do is I jump. I jump. I do a pirouette. I jump on the hand and I she's with my pure strength. I just open them. And I grab uh, Mystery so she doesn't fall. And that's my turn. I can't do it. Okay, well, I have you... movement. I have 30 feet of movement, right? Can yeah. I just can I just try to try to climb down the lady with 15 feet of movement? Yeah, yeah. Basically, as, as your full round, you you hop up, you yeah. pry them open, you you hold on to Mystery and descend back down safely to the ground. As this and happens, just... like Mystery's eyes kind of glitter. And just, wow, and I so drop her cool. To the ground. <laughs> the sparks fly again. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> awesome! Yeah. Cyber Slayer's That's making things worse for us, by the way. Oh wait, really? Oh, oh, oh no! Geez. Another one. Mm-hmm. Um, woof! All right, cool. Three more trolls. All right, <laughs> just even more. Uh, just all right, come back. Uh, mystery, it is your turn, and you are free. <laughs> they, wow! They counted the trees wrong. They thought there were only thanks, 10 carrots. That was really cool. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm gonna run away. Cooler now. I'm like, oh, man. Yeah. I'm just gonna say, oh, okay, bye. I'll just start running. <laughs> That's an attack of opportunity, then, right? Uh, yeah, sure. Oh no, yeah. go for it. <laughs> you just no dinner. Come back. <laughs> uh, that's a uh, seventeen. Uh, it hits. Silvery it's barbs. Not... All right, silvery barbs. <laughs> Uh, that is a 17. It hits. Jeez. <laughs> I, rolled, I rolled the same number both times. Um, all right, but luckily she's not squeezing you this time. So this time it's only 10 bludgeoning damage as she just, like, smacks your ass and, like, sends you flying forward in the direction you were running. And the clap echoes through the trees. <laughs> the I'm trying spanking. to run away from the big mummy, but my, but my <laughs> the clap my of her hand on my head. Can, can I still make my movement to run? Yeah, yeah, you're not losing any actions. Yeah, you, you're, okay. you can still move. I'm going to uh, run as fast as I can, and I'm going to cast Mage Armor on myself. You do so. That lasts, what, eight hours? Uh, yeah, yeah. Yes. Enough. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Ray. Uh, oh. By the way, I give the silvery barbs uh, in, uh, advantage, and I channel that to Ray. Nice. Oh, double cool. advantage. I have all the advantages. The stack. The thing is, I can no, also give myself stack. advantage as a samurai. <laughs> Wait, you no, already gave it, they gave it to mystery right. last time. Um, yeah. I'll give it to carrots. Yeah. Instead, oh, thank you. Yeah, I'll give it to carrots. Okay. All right, Ray. All right. She's gonna say that uh, mystery got away safely, but got bonked really hard and is just gonna yeah. forward kick again with the spike leg. <laughs> We're a really good team, by the way. Does, just, I just we say. are really good, yeah. We've got uh, a lot of support going hit. around. 15 does hit, yeah. Let's see it. They got rated heavy hitter, uh, carrot the, the mobile one. That's mm-hmm. 11 damage and she'll stand up on her leg in the wound oh. and stab her yeah. sword into her chest and keep pulling herself up just to get up to her face. I oh. love that flavor. Oh. I, I love that flavor. Take an extra d6 damage if this hits. Oh. Here's the d8. Uh, that is DM. an 18. <laughs> 18 yeah. hits. Roll damage Ooh. with an extra d6. Plus, well, thirteen plus. That's gonna. Hit. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the uh, that's the damage now coming out. Oh, Ooh. Uh, Ooh. seventeen damage. Total. Total. Okay. Is she still up? She's not looking good, but she is standing oh, no. on like her last leg. She's got gaping wounds. Get her and is yeah. that 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 that's your whole turn, Ray? Um. 
Let's see. Action surge? I could. Mm -hmm. But um, also, you, you're also. looking pretty cold, Ooh. chill. She's like, <laughs> uh, I don't I'm just going to stick to the front of her. And with that, I'm going to use my goading. Because of those two attacks, I'm going to goading attack her. Ooh. So she has to make a wisdom saving throw. Oh, okay, how does this work? Uh, if she fails, she ha can only attack me for normal. If she tries to attack anybody else, she has disadvantage. Okay. Oh, you're so goaded. Really. That is a nine total. That's <laughs> a fail. All right. She is she is goaded by you, the With goat. The sauce. Yeah. Oh, and also, <laughs> I get to add the D6 from the superiority die to the damage as well. Oh, God. Woo! Go. Go rain, Six go more rain, damage. Go, go rain, go rain. So, so <laughs> at, at the last minute, you, you just like like twist your leg one last time like come on but with that twist her eyes just roll back and she falls back ah! on the ground. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and she Oops. is no more the she booba just... is dead on no! she dead from it booba take sleep. the sword put it back into the sheath in her mouth and put it away <laughs> is there is there any chance that i could like save her if she's dying um i mean if you want to like try to stabilize sure I would like to, because I don't want her to die. She has kids. I thought we were going to have dinner. <laughs> what? Yeah. Oh, she's, uh, as payment of saving her life, she can make us dinner. Okay, okay I woke up to her and I guess your wounds. God probably. damn it. He oh. beat me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, how much the way she... my cure wounds <laughs> works is I take one them. little shiny green seed and I stick it onto her with my little rabbit claws. I make a hole and I, and I bury it. And just that flower grows. She heals and the flower withers away and dies. That's adorable Ooh. and beautiful. Yeah. How and much does she get? Uh, she gets uh, four points of health. Okay, her her eyes kind of flutter open as she's just lying on the ground looking up at a lot of you. Of the dice. Snoot's okay. got a foot planted on her throat now as Snoot's looking down on her with glowing red eyes um, and is saying, now we're gonna let you live because that wasn't very nice but we're not going to kill you, so you owe us dinner. Yeah, with breadsticks! You just sound like Melanie, the by meatballs. the way. Like the comedian. Maybe. I don't know <laughs> Spaghetti? George Melanie. Yeah. Oh, John Melanie. I love John Melanie. John Melanie. If you play What's a Good Pussycat on the, on the little thingy. Ah, uh, what's good? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I make dinner, but, but I don't have breadsticks. Kill her. Ah, uh, what the fuck? I have pot roast. Okay, that, Wait, that's pretty, pretty, pretty good. Pot roast is pretty good. That's no, pretty good, no, yes. we're not. So sword comes back out and right at her head. No, 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 no wait. She said pot roast. She said pot roast. <laughs> I'm okay she said with pot roast. roast. We don't have to kill her. We're getting the money anyways, I think. We have the stick, right? We didn't lose that. We yeah, didn't we have, have the stick. It. Okay. Uh, we have <laughs> and she she just like, like like brings herself to her feet, like holding her like six different bleeding wounds. Come this way. Wait, 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 wait. Oh. What's your name? My name Gisella. Gisella. <laughs> you okay? I'm gonna pat her uh, her uh, think, her arm, and I'm gonna cast too hard on the ground. Cure wounds. <laughs> You're healing her too. Oh my god! Aww. Everyone have cure wounds. Besides yes. I have healing word. <laughs> yeah. Wait, how do you have cure wounds as a wizard? Uh, it's part of my gift of the metallic dragon. Ooh. Ooh. Nice. All right. How much does she heal? Uh, she heals. It's two d8 plus four. So let me get that for her. Um, and don't worry, I haven't forgotten about that that donation cyber slayer. It's coming. <laughs> so she heals fourteen. Fourteen, okay. And she, pretty good. She kind of breathes and looks down at you and just says, "Sorry for squeeze." It's okay. I kind of liked it weird enough. Like what? Uh, what? <laughs> I thought the oh, spanking was interesting. I guess yeah, that this was is what pretty... they call. I guess what this is what they call natural selection. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Something's being naturally selected. Mm, Something's true. being naturally awakened in me, but we don't have to talk about. <laughs> <that>. Butt roast. <laughs> <laughs> Let's eat. <laughs> and she she leads you a bit deeper into the forest where there's a house. <laughs> it's just like a, a pretty big clearing. Because, like, 15 trees have just been, like, uprooted and made into a massive, like, tent. 
Nice. There's, there's just leaves on top of like 15 trees <laughs> leaning into each other. She walks inside. And there's just this massive. Um, it, it it looks to be a, a bear on a massive spit roast kind of <laughs> not spinning right now. But she walks and says, "I have pot roast ready and soon. If you would like to." Take a short rest, you may. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah. That Ooh. sounds fantastic. Thank Thanks, you. Thanks, Giselle. That's your is name, that a, right? Is that a, yes, thank you for member. Uh, is that a good place to take a break for the stream? Uh, Yeah, that's perfect, yeah. actually. Cool, sure. Yeah. Awesome, right awesome. We'll be back. We'll be back. We'll be back. Uh, three, we'll be back. One, transferring bum, bum, over. Bum, bum, bum. Actually, right no, after these messages. The After these is the messages. Same. It's going so well. Smooth, <laughs> smooth, smooth transition. Yes. Smooth sailing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Goodbye. We'll get there. Working. Goodbye.
Alright. Back to being a bitch. I mean, no we're clear. Okay. We're in. We're back. Oh, oh, we're oh we're back. <laughs> Stop drinking! Put it down! Put it down! Jacob's with us again, too. Welcome hey, back, Jacob. Jacob. In the corner. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. Uh, the party is having a lovely pot roast dinner with Giselle, the titty giant. Um, and after after about an hour, you guys, yeah, you all get a short rest and the, the benefits that come with it. Um, and Jonathan and Carl are nowhere to be seen. You can tell she's really worried, like, over dinner. She just keeps staring at the entrance, like, waiting for them to come home. Oh, no. Oh, I dropped concentration on suggestion. Oh. Okay. <laughs> now, oh, choose to oh, do oh. it now. <laughs> As you do so, are you sticking around? And are you telling the party you've dropped concentration? Uh-oh. Uh... You know what? I'm gonna roll a die. <laughs> yes, oh. yes, I love Let's letting go. the dice make character decisions. Eleven oh. or higher, Snoot <laughs> thinks about <laughs> it. Ten or lower, Snoot doesn't. <laughs> That's a one. Oh! Uh, 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 Karen is gonna pick up Snoot and be like, come here, buddy. Hey, hey, hey. Have you ever tried this? I'm gonna start feeding him stuff. <laughs> just oh. <okay. laughs> Snoot's just like eating and it's like, mm, dinner. And then she's like looking out the window and he's like, Oh yeah, they can eat dinner too. Click. Did you say that out loud? No, just thinking it. No, just thinking. Oh, just it. thinking it. Okay. Just thinking it. And it's like, oh yeah, click turns off. <laughs> like, goes stops back to concentrating. Being fed. <laughs> concentrating uh, goes back. I have to him being like fed. a little baby on my arms, and I'm figuring. <laughs> Does anyone yes, do anything dude. else uh, specific during dinner? Uh, Rhea's probably gonna take off her prosthetic leg and let that sit out for a little bit. I'm gonna look <laughs> around for any shinies. Roll me perception. Okay. Oh yeah, actually Snoot would be doing that too at this point. Okay. I will be talking to Giselle, kind of bothering her being a so is there like a Mr. Giselle or There was <laughs> but winter was hard. Oh, said so we sorry. should eat. No! Where did he go? Did he walk away? No. We oh, eat. Good. He went to the farm, mystery. No, Wait. there's no farm. They he became dinner. Wait, yeah, are you dude. telling me that you ate your dude, stop husband? Eat shaming. You, you guys he love said eat us. Shaming. We would all die without. No, hey, Mrs. Mrs. I get it. I have seventeen siblings. We also <laughs> had to eat our parents. So, mm-hmm. honestly, no shame on that. Honestly. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no shame. You gotta do what you gotta do. Do, do yeah, what you have to do. You gotta <laughs> feed <laughs> your kids as you are right now. You're a great mom. I got You're a twenty-two. A 22? Okay. She, she bra- Giselle breaks down into tears as you say that, Mr. <laughs> I'm just patting her and just kind of like <laughs> side-eyeing Snoot. <laughs> uh, Snoot, what'd you get for perception? 18. 18. Okay. So y'all look around this, this makeshift cabin. Um, and uh, it's a lot of bones. I'll be honest. It's a lot of bones. Bone mm-hmm. furniture, piles of bones, broken nice. bones. Um, what a cool but what you but you both kind of find at the same time, and it's the kind of thing where you both reach and grab it at the same time. Um, one of the bones looks different than the other, um, and it appears to be a bone made it's out a of solid bone. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's in the closet. Uh-uh. Um, oh. <laughs> uh, uh, no, this is a bone clearly made out of solid emerald. Emerald. Oh, oh, not, not the chef. Where oh. is the bone? <laughs> Uh, you both, you, you and Samuel both grabbed either end of it at the same time. Oh, Snoot wouldn't be grabbing. Hmm. Snoot's okay. just like looking around for shinies. Okay, mm. then you see, Samuel, you said you were like walking around looking for shinies, right? Yeah. Yeah, then you see Samuel approaching uh, a, a bright green shiny bone in the corner. Like, it's just, it's just in a random pile. Hmm. Okay. Is Mrs. Ogre like crying into the she's, soup right now? She's crying in the soup and being consoled by mystery. Yeah. Okay. okay, I'll just like make sure I, I see Sam, <laughs> Alka Samuel go Dang for it. And I'll just like, I, I'm just like looking, I'm like nodding. <laughs> just, like <laughs> like not making sure. I put it away. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, that would be worth probably about 150 gold. Okay. Ooh. Nice. Is there anything else? That's rent. Yeah, I could keep paying for you. (laughs) Is there anything (laughs) else? For me, yeah, Yeah, exactly. Is there anything else relatively shiny here? 
Aside from the glistening grease of somewhat fetid meat, no. Okay. Resident Evil Any 7. cool rocks? Rock or any weird yeah, looking bones? There, there's there's a really cool looking rock in the corner. It's like it's holding up some of the trees. Uh, but when you squint, it kind of looks like uh, Nicolas Cage. Well, oh fuck! What? How big is That's it? That's really valuable. Oh, it's like it's like the size of like a couch. Oh, I can't grab that. Mm. No. Hmm. We'll have to come back for it. Yeah, I'm gonna <laughs> mark this on my nap. Yeah. Nick, I'm gonna put this in my notes. Nicholas Cage Rock. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Might be a religious symbol. You can't just pick that up. Um. So yeah, y'all, y'all stick around. Another like hour or so goes by, and you all start to hear thumping in the distance coming as as Giselle like like perks her head up and is like, "I know footsteps sound just like their father." Is it the boys? <laughs> Who has stick? It's my boys. I think Snoot has stick. Okay. Yeah, Snoot has it. Oh. They got it. I think. It, it's mm-hmm. new, do you, had, you had it, Ramak? Do you, ha- yep, you actually yep. had it? Okay. Yeah, I, I awesome. do have it. Thank you. As a reminder, <laughs> I think you would know this, Snoot, that someone after suggestion wears off knows they were affected by magic. Or, like, tricked in some way. I think that's part of the description of suggestion, right? Yeah, that's mm-hmm. okay. friends. Or is it only on a failure? Or on a success? Um, no, no, me, they do know it. Check. Either they do way, know? they okay. know, yeah. It's just, like, friends, no matter what the result, they know it. Yeah, okay. If it's a failure, they just know it immediately. That's the thing. Mm-hmm. Does anyone do anything as the stomping gets closer? Oh, yeah, I, uh, I go on. away, I hide. I'm gonna, like, stay really this. close to Giselle, like... We're buddies. I'm patting her back. Oh. I'm getting her salty tears into my soup and eating it. We're yeah. close. <laughs> I just love that sentence. I, I put my leg uh, back actually, on. Actually, <laughs> I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go out. I'm gonna approach them before they reach to talk to them for a moment. Okay. Uh, you all see Tansuk walk uh, out. I go. Of I'm gonna the- take a piss. Okay. Bye. And I go out Bye. and I approach them and I go, "Hey, big guys, where stick?" Hold on, hold on. Uh, before that, your mom told me you guys like bone decor in your house. So I have some really nifty bones that I wanted to give you if you forgive us for what happened. What do you th- what do you think? I have human bones. Do you want human bones? Where mama? Your mama is at, is at home having dinner. You guys should grab some bones and then go eat. You come with us to mama. We talk there. Can you pick me up? I would love to be picked up. <laughs> kind of look at each other. They each grab one of your arms and then just Ayo. lift you. Ayo. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna you, swing a little bit. You all see Tonsuk being carried in by the two giants. Howdy, how's it going? <laughs> I made friends. <laughs> oh, so cool. And Giselle just like gets up, like not intentionally, but definitely pushing you to the side huh? mystery. And she just goes and embraces her children. <laughs> Aww. Yeah, humbly hug. And then she like steps back and slaps both of them. Where you been? <laughs> me warmy sick. Oh. Meat cold. Yeah, your oh. meat's cold as I'm eating the meat. <laughs> <laughs> Mama, they trick us. The the little black and white one. And they're like looking around. And uh. you're not hiding or anything, right, Snoot? Uh. No, Snoot is sitting where. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> sitting where Tonsuk placed them after getting up and is just like still digging into like bear thigh. <laughs> mm-hmm. I'm gonna look at Giselle and go, so Giselle, can I can I tell you something? You, you know how we are. You know what uh, we are capable of as a group. Mm-hmm. We found your kids with a very dangerous magical wand. What I say to... about magic? Yeah, yeah, exactly. And we decided instead of instead of you know hurting them. We decided, hey, why don't we make them have some fun and then leave us alone? And we keep this very dangerous thingy for ourselves. But me find stick! Well, the thing is, like, some goblins with a very dangerous weapon want that. So it, it's either us making you have fun in the forest, or the goblins come here and they bring a dangerous weapon with it. Yeah. You're so, not scared like, of goblin. Goblin like little giant. Oh no! Yeah, absolutely. Goblins are not scary. Goblins are tasty, but like, the, what they can, <laughs> what they're capable of building—that's what's scary. They have a very big weapon that uh, they're going to use. If you I don't, don't think it's that scary, I think maybe if we take the stick and give it to the goblins, and then the goblins come here, you could probably just kill the goblins and take the stick and anything else that they bring with them. Snoot's going to wipe the bear viscera <laughs> off their face and get down and say, "Or 
I have two other special sticks that you guys can have. No! And they like they put up a big finger at you, Snoot, and say, No! We have our own deal! No more tricks! We're not gonna fall for it anymore! If you want the stick, you give us fancy koal! Oh, this thing right here in my hand? Yes, and they, they both like run over and like there's one standing on either side of you, Mystery. <laughs> you give Koal, you leave us and Mama. Oh, okay. okay. Well, you keep can I, stick. Can I finish my meal though? I'll pack it for you to go. My boys are having a tantrum. <laughs> it's well, okay. I'll Don't just worry. reach out to Kids Giselle. Thanks, mm. Giselle. And maybe I'll come by and hang out sometime. That would be nice, Mystery. Yeah. I've never had a kobold friend. I never oh. had a... What are you? Giant. I never had a giant friend. Oh. You feel special. I do too. Aww. You two. Go to your room until I come get you. And they both like... One of them takes the, the koal from you. It's just a chunk of coal. Yeah. And they, they turn <laughs> and they both hey, soak hey, to the back. Hey, and boys, eat. boys. Catch, catch. And I throw them a, a human skull. Yeah! <laughs> one, of them catches, one of them catches it. They look at each other. They drop the coal and start fighting over the yeah! skull. <laughs> I told you, man. Human skulls are great. <laughs> In the Would background, else... I'm just very quietly handing the bone to Ray. <laughs> She'll just oh, take it and just... Put that on my tab. I just... We'll put it, like, right... Just down the shirt. Okay. <laughs> the whole stuff. Pocket. The boob pocket. <laughs> boob pocket. Um, and then she'll just pick him up and start pushing him, uh, Samuel outside. Oh, oh shit. Okay. <laughs> I go outside. Your friend's leaving, Mystery. Go. Go. I don't want to. I, we we I, see each other again. I'll give her a big hug. Oh, she starts hugging you back and then catches herself and is like, oh, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> she just kind of like pats you on the head very carefully. Let's go. See you around, Giselle. <laughs> no, bye run bye, out. mystery. And Snoot, while mouth is full of a bear mate, is going to wave right as <laughs> I cast Mage Hand invisibly and telekinetically just rip off another chunk of bear meat. <laughs> and so I'm running away with bear meat in my mouth, in my hands, and there's just like a leg <laughs> like following me as well. Oh as God. you all are exiting the tent, the last thing you hear behind you is GHOST MEAT! <laughs> <laughs> that might cause problems in the future. Beautiful. <laughs> yeah. All right, with stick in hand, that's a sentence. Y'all make your way back to the edge of the, I assume you make your way back to the edge of the forest, unless you have yeah. some, some other business. <laughs> no. <laughs> looking for goblins. Put in my lunch back. bag in my pocket. Um, it, it's about late afternoon. You can tell it's probably an hour or two till sundown, so it's still sunlight, but you, you break out of the canopy and you see uh, Raz uh, standing next to the, the tarped project. Um, and then a small being like moving around under the tarp, which you can only assume to be Mataz. And they they see you coming. You get magic stick. Yeah. Maybe. What? I want to see what's under the tarp first. Okay. Ooh. You give us stick, we take off. You watch us assemble. Deal. Mm. I have From a Snoop's question. Jacket dangling in the air, kind of back and forth, uh, is a hand holding the stick, like dangling it, like provocatively, like we got the stick, all right. What Ray's is the weapon in, used in front for? Of both. It's just, uh, what, money. What'd you say, Ray? She's gonna walk in between everybody and just go, up, uh, money. Mm. Yes, mm. shinies. Uh, mm -hmm. mystery? Uh, uh, what is the weapon going to be used for? The experiment? Yeah. It protect us in forest. We want live in forest, but can't protect from bear and monsters. Oh, okay. Experiment, That's... keep us safe. Okay, 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 okay. Um, and you say, yes, yes. Um, I give you some shiny now, then we put in the experiment and then rest of shiny. Deal? That didn't sound like a deal, did it, Ray? That didn't sound like our deal. What do mm. you mean? I ain't giving you half ahead of time. Meet you only promise after give. Just gonna stand over him. I just 
leave the goblet in her shadow. Ray, do you think we should be paid up front? I just hand on sword. <laughs> Roll me intimidation, Ray. Nice. <laughs> Let's go. This is the whole he asked for no pickles like <laughs> situation. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Still no pickles. <laughs> Can I get advantage because Ray's helping me be intimidating? <laughs> uh, I would allow you to give Ray advantage. Oh, I got natural okay. 20 on the first roll. Oh, okay. Oh, shit. Okay, <laughs> yeah. It. There well, you go. Never mind. <laughs> Miko, get shinies. Mm -hmm. He starts walking off. Hero scary. <laughs> Snoot's going to go up to Ray's uh, actual arm and like hold up a high five. <laughs> <laughs> He's just going to leave you hanging. Look oh, oh, rude. I'll smack your hand. <laughs> yeah. I'm L smack it too, but in the wrong way, like in the, in the back. <laughs> Hell yeah. Uh, so it takes almost a, like a really awkwardly long 10 minutes for for Raz to go to like individual spots, pull out like a oh, single yeah, gem, put it in a bag, yeah. oh walk over, <laughs> dig it up, grab another one. Wow. After, like, Fucking bad. after like 10 minutes, there's like 15 different holes in the ground and oh. he, he holds up the bag to, to Ray and just says, here, take shinies. She'll take it and just kind of open the bag with her mouth, look inside and then close it. Yep. And you can see there's easily 400 gold worth of gems in there. Mm. Not bad, not bad. She'll just toss the bag over to Samuel and just stand next <laughs> to him. The hand will lower the wand. To and, Raz. And, and Raz is like jumping up to get it until it's finally in reach. <laughs> yes! Wand of Construct Animation! And he, he said, looks at all of you and says, Friends, you will be the first non goblin eyes to bear witness to. And he grabs the tarp and whips it off. FR 13 ND! Friend. You got that really fast. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> we write passwords. We know what's up. <laughs> yeah. And what you see is a large wooden goblin. Oh shit. Oh. Like literally. A Trojan horse! It's like a Trojan, Trojan goblin, goblin, yes. <laughs> uh, but you can see sort of sticking out of part of it or uncovered in other parts. There is a metal frame under the wooden exterior. Pretty like fast, it's man. It's definitely made of like <laughs> scrap metal and crap, but it's still really impressive that it all is holding together and is shaped like a goblin. Dude, if we're only two people, that's pretty good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mataz do most of the work. I supervise and handle oh, yeah. business. Capitalism. Uh, Mataz, will you do honors? Okay. <laughs> they take the wand. And they walk over and open a little hatch on the, the front chest compartment of it. And they, they socket the, the wand in perfectly. And you can actually see little magical sparks um, as it connects. And he, he closes it and steps back as the entire uh, construct itself starts humming with magical energy. Um, uh, can anyone proficient uh, roll me Arcana? Oh, I'm proficient. And that's all oh, brain. Kids. I'm proficient. I have fake proficiency. Oh. I'm only hard. because I went to school for a little bit. <laughs> I went to college. <laughs> <laughs> I got a five. I didn't five. learn anything. I got an 18. 18. All right. And it was anyone else proficient? Not really. No. Okay. Um, so everyone's, everyone's sort of watching and uh, the goblins are, are clapping. Uh, mystery. Something seems a little weird at first. You don't notice it too, too much. Like, it almost feels like just something like nagging at you that you can just brush off. Um, but as the construct begins moving, you can tell something's wrong. The energy that is emanating is... Um, it, it, it feels green, as it were, uh, rather than animate construct, which would typically feel like a, a grayish brown. Mm. Um, and... Basically, right before shit hits the fan, you realize that wasn't a wand of animate construct. That's a wand of summon draconic spirit. Oh my As gosh! Two large green uh, spiritual wings emit from the back of this thing, it's and the this green goblin. goblin. <laughs> <laughs> the, the construct stands upright, looks to you all, and says, "Who returns me to life?" I immediately Mystery point just at Raz. drops to her knees and goes, This 
is the greatest day of my fucking life. Oh. Um, Raz pushes Mataz to the side, runs up over it, and goes, Me! Me! I did all the work! You're welcome! And the goblin construct, like, r like looks up for a second, opens its mouth, uh -oh. Uh -oh. and just a stream of green fog emits, ev enveloping this goblin. And as the fog clears, it's just, like, burned and, like, oh. inflamed and just falls to the ground. Oh, no. Uh, is this still it's the okay, greatest day of our life, Mystery? Huh? Is, this, uh, is this still great for yes, you, Mystery? Yes, I, like, immediately get my notes and all my, like, <laughs> pens and papers. I have to, I have to interview it. I'll be right How? back and I'll start running Ma towards it. Mataz walks away. But, like, just, just like, nope, nope, nope. How mm. secure is that wand in its chest? Uh, it is at least behind some kind of compartment, like door. You can't see it right now. Um, okay. And the, the construct looks at the lot of you. You two, kobolds. And like, Mister, you said you ran up to it, right? Yeah, like, excitingly, like, <laughs> oh, hail the great dragon construct. You understand. The two of you, I have a proposition. As yes, a sir. dragon of my stature, I desire servants. Oh, Murder dear. the rest of your entourage, and you will be blessed with the opportunity that's, to serve me for the rest of your that's mortal cool. life. I shrink into a bush as I start playing a tune uh, to cast a spell. I message, I message Mystery, don't you have a thing that can turn off magic? Yeah, but I want to know like more about it. Like, I'm, it just I'm told us to that. kill our friends. <laughs> I, I mean, yeah, there's that, but I mean... <laughs> I want to know, like, what kind of favorite ice cream flavor are they? It have? wants us to kill our friends. <laughs> Very fine, I guess. <laughs> sure. Uh, what do you want? What do you want to do? You want me to turn it off? I'm casting or? the spell magic. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like right away. <laughs> How does that work in Five uh, E? So, what level spell would you say this draconic spirit is? Um, it is. Like on a scale of one to nine, how strong is its presence? For uh, like the wand animating it? Yeah. Or just the okay, yeah. What, what spell level is the wand yeah. using? Yeah. Exactly. Um, just, just it so is. Know the, um, mm -hmm. the constructs usually have saving throw proficiency, uh, advantage on magic saves. Ooh, thank you for telling us. <laughs> I'm, I'm actually the one that rolls, so they don't get. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. shit. Um, <laughs> but it is, I believe, a sixth level. Ooh, boy. Oh, yeah, this might not go well. Mm -hmm. You can do it. You just have to roll. roll I rolled a 19 well. plus four. Ooh. I think I got rid of the spirit. No way. <laughs> uh, sorry. It turns <laughs> off. It's to kill the Holy shit. <laughs> well, it, it, it. It, it suppresses the magic in the wand. So it turns off for like an hour, I think. Um, it just ends yeah. the spell. It's so that's one creature, hmm. object, or magical effect within range. I'm choosing the enchantment of the spirit with the goblin as the target. So then for each spell of fourth level or higher, I have to uh, make an ability check. I got a 23. Okay. Uh, yeah, I beat the difficulty. I could have canceled a ninth level spell accidentally. That's with that. Insane. You don't have to see it, right? <laughs> uh, no, I do. I'm looking at it. Oh, okay. Um, oh, yeah, the goblin itself. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. So you do dismiss it. The, the, the wings seem to almost be like, like glitching like static mm -hmm. on a TV <laughs> um, and it's slowly like, like it almost seems like it's malfunctioning. Since the wand itself has multiple charges mm. charging this thing, it almost seems like you are suspending it. Like it's going to come back, but okay. it is sort of like trying to fight the dispel magic. Ray, wail on it. <laughs> what are you oh, no, doing? The sword. <laughs> Let's no! go ahead and roll some initiative, shall we? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Go! Yeah. 19 oh. plus 3. Oh, 23. Nice. 23 for Ray. Yeah. 28. 28 for... Oh 28? God. <laughs> 18 plus 10, baby. <laughs> That's nice. the thing of being a gun and a Gloomstalker. Oh, adventure. I know. They're, they're, oh, yeah. Their inherent bonus to initiative is insane. It's proficiency mm -hmm. bonus plus my wisdom modifier. So dumb. <laughs> plus my uh, Samuel? Oh, uh, 17. 17, mystery. It's Alicus. I got an 18. <laughs> 18, and Snoop? Three. Oh, Ooh. boy. Yeah. And then we will um, do this. Cool. Well, that fits. <laughs> That's a nat one on initiative. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, okay, so it's going to go 
Lots of Ray or not. I, I wrote down your character name is Lots of Carrots. Not Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, mystery. Ron Pud. Alaka. <laughs> All right, then start of round is uh, Tonsek. Awesome. Um, the this the hatch seems to be very well put together, right? I can't just open it. I need to break it. You haven't. You you could try. Mm, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna run up to it. I have forty feet of movement, so I'm gonna run up. Okay. To it. Yeah. You you managed to get up in, in melee range. Uh, can I use one of my attacks in this turn to try and open it? Like grapple sure. the thing. And I try yeah. to open it. Yeah. Absolutely. Roll me. Um. We'll do that as a, as a grapple check. Sure. Awesome. Um, so I roll an attack, and if I hit, I should be able to grapple it. Okay. Uh, no, that's an eleven. Um, Oof. Um, I, I don't make, don't worry about the the attack roll. This thing is not moving at the moment. Just oh. make the grapple check. Awesome. Athletics. Oh, that's a nineteen plus that's seven. That's twenty six. Wow. Um, yeah, so so with a hand on this thing, you could definitely feel it's like magically holding it closed, mm -hmm. uh, but you are able to to wrench the compartment open, and you do yeah. see the wand sort of humming with energy inside. Amazing. Well, I don't know if uh, I use my two attack actions. I have an, an extra attack and my bonus. Well, I don't get my bonus because I'm not dual wielding. I didn't attack with my first weapon, mm -hmm. so I'm just getting my third attack bonus. I'm going to mark this as my favorite enemy. Okay. Oh, it's a construct, right? I can't. It is. Oh, it's, is uh, it like precision damage? Uh, yeah. Basically, okay. if I, I can attack the, the body, but the one that wouldn't count because it's an object, yeah. not a person. Mm -hmm. So I'm just person. gonna do, yeah. I'm just gonna do uh, my short sword attack. Okay, make me an attack. 19 roll. to hit the wand. 19 to hit the wand? You do mm -hmm. hit, roll me damage. That is, that's maximum damage on the good 10 damage and a d8 extra because it's the first attack of the round that hits. Um. That is, 14 damage total. 14 damage total. Um, yeah, no, that, I have no way to, to cheat around that. Y'all, with it malfunctioning from the dispel magic, Tunsok just jumps in, rips it open, and then just stabs into the middle of this wand. Yeah, I just go with my, my, my bunny claws kind of like <laughs> burning into the middle. I wrench it open and I throw it away, and I just go... Night, night, sweet prince, and I break. <laughs> <No one>. Holy <laughs> shit! And You're as the powerful. wand sp splinters, <laughs> it's still like in place, but it's not in one piece anymore. And yeah. coupled with the dispel magic, the hum of energy stops, and the draconic spirit just flickers out Incredible. of existence. And there is just a still construct and a dead goblin. <laughs> Should we go kill the other guy? He made this. It's true. No. I wanted to ask it questions. You, like, it's only been like six seconds. You can see that uh, <laughs> like, Mataz, it, he's just walking. Like, he looks over his shoulder and, like, sees that you guys dealt with it and was like, huh. Just at a standard just pace. Just <laughs> yeah. It's like, I'm, I'm done. Like, this is, feet what away. is this? Like, I, I just spent, like, four days making that and it didn't even work. I'm out. Just no, it worked too well. Samuel I'm going to cast Suggestion on him. Oh, shit. Okay. Um... I don't wisdom save? know what I want to make him do. Yeah, wisdom save, beat 15. That's a four. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, come over here. He stops, shrugs his shoulders, turns around, just starts walking back to you, saying like, leisurely. Pick. Snapping my finger, looking around frantically for suggestions for my suggestion. <laughs> uh, tell him to disassemble this whole thing. Uh, tell me the, the secrets of the dragon. And take it apart, This the thing. Take it apart and bury it. Yeah, that. What he said, but I'm saying it. Can I get some help? No. No. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> he reaches into like a pouch on his side, pulls out a screwdriver. On the other side, pulls out a hammer. Am I getting paid for this? I think you just beef? have to, man. I'm sorry. It's part of... You can't really... Did you say roast beef? You can't negotiate. Yeah, do you, do you want to be paid in roast beef? Yeah, I actually Deal. Snoop reaches into the bag and holds out like <laughs> a chunk of the bear meat that they weren't able to finish. He just kind of like, looks at it. Cool. Throw it on the ground. I'll eat it later. And he just walks over and thanks, starts man. tinkering and pieces just <laughs> tunk. I honestly just, feel like if I dispelled it, he'd just keep going. <laughs> <laughs> 
And yeah, he's he's not talking or anything. He's just dismantling it. It's gonna okay. take probably at least six or plus hours. I'm gonna be Ooh. focusing on this spell all day. That was a mistake. <laughs> yeah, Does Raz have, have anything on him? Tired. It took eight hours to get out here. Mm -hmm. I'm Does gonna Raz go to sleep before the spell ends. Dead goblin body. <laughs> you could take a long rest. You have your money. He's taking it apart. I'll be real, y'all just finished just the session. Yeah, we're done. <laughs> There's not much left after the track. <laughs> the bard plus Ranger broke. Oh god, I've never actually had a campaign just ended by Dispel Magic, and now <laughs> I understand it. <laughs> so. Oh. That's insane. <laughs> I think one of the worst it's things so I good. ever did in a scene was uh, this, like, cult situation where there's a circle of, like, 20 different people uh, mm -hmm. around the arena. And anytime anyone tried to do any anything, each of them could use a reaction to cast Dispel Magic. Because oh. it's all individual uh... reactions. <laughs> Wait, as a reaction to Dispel Magic? Uh, Counterspell. No, Counterspell, yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh, backwards. Counterspell. But yeah, Counterspell is just as bad, if not worse. That would have been smart. I, I could have so thought annoying. about doing that, but it was probably... I mean, he's, he's a spirit. He doesn't have magic. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. Well Ooh, done. Really again. again! Again, again! <laughs> all right, all right. So it's a, it's a normal standard day on the Sword Coast. The sun <laughs> is shining. It's middle of spring to summer. <laughs> Let's do the genocide uh, rate route now. <laughs> Oh my oh, god. Kill everyone. That would have been faster, honestly. That would have been way faster. <laughs> oh my god. Hey, Poor. we win something. We won the friendship of Giselle. You got the friendship yeah. ending. Well, yeah. You, yeah. <laughs> only one died. person died, and it wasn't yeah. really our fault. No. Yeah, it was their fault. Yeah, true. You actually didn't kill any of the giants. We, did, we did not try we, to help him at all. We just kind of <laughs> let him eat it. We, I, was, I, mean, I was going to, but I didn't want to stop the narration. <laughs> Of him dying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad I got to kill someone. Mm. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's your own character. <laughs> oh, oh, God. Well, hey, thanks for letting me GM here. This yeah. was fun. This was super That's fun. fun. If we do this as a, like a big thing, like an actual thing, I am super down. I would be so love down. To keep playing with this party. I just oh, this party like would be scheduling. so much fun. Oh, yeah, the yeah. scheduling is, is impossible. Yeah. At least for the next two months, Ooh. no way it's going to happen for me. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> But all right, how do we end the show, Logan? Uh, I click a couple buttons. Uh, does anyone have a really awesome sign off? Um, uh, wash your hands before eating pot roast. Fuck you, San Diego. Don't eat fuck you, San money. Diego. Off the ground unless you're a goblin. Give me money. Yeah, give it that money. <laughs> give me money. Yeah. Give me money. Give money. <laughs> Draw Gotta fan art of Giselle with her big tits. Big? Oh, yeah. I, I want Giselle big fan art yeah. so I want Giselle and mystery fan art together. <laughs> I think it better be her crushing my neck. <laughs> art of most of these characters probably on Twitter now, right? Mm -hmm. cool. <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching. Uh, we're going to leave now. I'm going to play Stardew Valley and watch Community. I'm going to go play Monster there. Sanctuary. Yeah, hell yeah. I'm going to go play stuff. Yeah. Bye. Dan's gonna go play stuff. Bye. 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 I'm turning my air conditioning on. <laughs> it's so hot. <laughs>